Hello everybody, myself Sri Devi and I am going to be explaining how polynomials can be represented using arrays in this video. Firstly, what is a polynomial? A polynomial contains the sum of terms of this format. Each term has a coefficient and an exponent. We are going to use an array to store both of these polynomials and see how we can actually represent polynomials using arrays. As you can see, each term has two things. One is your coefficient and one is your exponent. So it is not a single value, rather it is a two value. So you are going to use this structure to define firstly. So the structure is going to look like this. So we are using type def struct in C. Since you have two fields in your single term, you are going to take the coefficient and exponent here. So I am renaming this structure as poly. Now. Since you have multiple terms, you are going to use an array, so which is of a larger size to store both the polynomials. So we are declaring an array PA, which is of maximum size, you can give any value for max. Now, so if you do the declaration, as you know, we are going to have memory allocated. So this will be the structure when the memory is allocated for your array. So you have two fields, coefficient and exponent and the name of your polynomial is PA as you have defined in your code. Now, how do you store the polynomials in the same array? So we have three terms in A and four terms in B. We are going to take each term and store in the coefficient and exponent fields and we are going to mark the start of A and end of A in order to indicate the start and finish. So. First you are going to store A, so we are going to start with SA which indicates the start of your A. So look at the first term, we have 5 x power 6, so 5 is the coefficient, 6 is the exponent which is going to be stored like this. The second term is minus 3 x cube, so minus 3 is the coefficient, 3 is the exponent. Next term you have is 2 x, so 2 x power 1 so 1 is going to be the exponent so you have reached the end of your polynomial a we are going to indicate it as f a or finish a you can also call it end a if you want now in the same polynomial or same array we are going to store the second polynomial also instead of using a separate polynomial so we are going to start with 3 x cube so that will be your starting of your polynomial b so we are going to write it as s b so you have 3x cubed, so 3 and 3 here. Now second term is 7x squared, so 7 and 2. Next one is 5x, 5 coefficient and exponent is 1. 9, so you don't have an x here which indicates x power 0. So the exponent here is 0. Now we have reached the end of polynomial b, so we are going to represent it as sb finish B. So this is how you are going to store your polynomials or uh, polynomials into an array. So for your array again you need a structure coefficient and exponent because you have two fields in each term. In a same array that is your single array you have stored two polynomials. So each polynomial start and end are represented using SA and FA respectively. Same way for B, we have used SB and FB. I hope you have understood the concept of how we can represent uh, polynomials using arrays. We are going to talk about how we can add different polynomials in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you.